opportunity arise and I got the opportunity to take over a cafe downtown. And since then, the country has been absolutely incredible in terms of accepting the culture and the varieties that we offer. Hi, I'm Mr. Um, from Trinidad and Tobago and I came up here to introduce Jamaica to the, the food cultural side of Trinidad and Tobago. Growing up, I realized being academic was my stronghold, but cooking was also a passion, right? So I focused all my energy on learning everything about food. So I did uh, meat curing, fishing, I did, I did short courses with Kariri, UE, everybody, every short course that I had available, farming and everything. I did all to build, to build up my portfolio uh, and be as well-rounded and well-versed in all aspects of cooking. I migrated to the country last year, April, and really and truly I came to be a stay-at-home dad. And then opportunity arise and I got the opportunity to take over a cafe downtown. And since then, the country has been absolutely incredible in terms of accepting the culture and the varieties that we offer. I incorporate different parts of the world into Trinidad cuisine, but I use the ingredients available in the country to use. So I might use a Asian style of cooking, but use local ingredients. So give me an example of, of that. So I would do jerk chicken doubles. Because we don't have the same exact ingredients in Jamaica that we would have in Trinidad. I adapted to the Jamaican ingredients, but I cook Trinidad food. Introducing new things to Jamaicans was a bit challenging. So what I had to do is I, the name of my meals would have been a Jamaican name. So I had breadfruit rundown, but I cooked it completely different. So when Jamaicans, like when the, uh, the population came, like the workers downtown, everybody came, they, um, they ordered it because they knew that, that it was something that they were familiar with. When they got it on the other hand, it took a little getting used to. But we got great feedback. A lot of return customers, and then people start asking, oh, can I have the rundown, but can you make it the way you made it last week, right? And I had, so then they started to adapt. So you're tricking people. Yeah, basically. <laughs> into right? trying your food. What I did in Trinidad, I tricked everybody. <laughs> people enjoy new things after they get past the fact that it's not what they're accustomed to. Initially, we were supposed to be here for nine months and then uh, the cafe turned around and the owners said that we weren't allowed to leave, <laughs> right? Uh, when we decided we have to stay longer in Jamaica, I was missing home food, so then I opened Messrs. Messrs. True Trini Flavor. Messrs. True Trini Flavor. Yes. And that's what you offer and at that's, And that's what I do at Hillcrest, yeah. Okay. Currently working on getting a location. But we started to do pop-ups on a weekend. So I would just take the car full of it food, get my workers, and take them to different parts of Kingston on a weekend and don't tell anybody that we come in. Pop up, put it on Instagram or WhatsApp, and we sell it out. Like just as a surprise, just as a pop-up surprise location. Really? People coming towards us. And then we started using local local driving apps. So instead of um like the food delivery apps, we just hire local couriers to do deliveries for us so everybody can benefit out of the whole equation. Wow. So it sounds like your food tastes good then. That's what I'm told. Me personally, here or there. <laughs> so describe to me what your food tastes like. Tell me about some of the things that you make. All right. So right now we are doing, we are focusing on the Trinidad aspect of it. So we started doing like our local street food. Back home we have tons of street food. And I realized in Jamaica there's opportunities so we could expand the market. So right now we are trying to do Trinidad, so we do things like doubles and like fried bacon, shrimp, coconut bake, corn soup. All those things are national, like the national street foods of Trinidad. But I brought it to Jamaica and I am doing Jamaican versions of it. And because of that we get, uh, people keep on calling us from all parts of the country to figure out what next we have in store. And we try to keep uh, some sort of mystery so that we keep the customers wanting to know what else we have in store. I always wanted to live in Jamaica, my whole life. Love really? the culture, the cuisine, just the whole aspect of it. So moving across here was like a dream come true. 